how do ants communicate? How can society function if they cannot communicate with each other? You may not know how such a highly organized group of insects can work together so well without a sophisticated way to communicate with one another. Well, it turns out ants most definitely can communicate with each other and they can do it in many more ways than you may think. Communication can mean many things, but it is not entirely based upon speech, but a variety of different signals, scents, and feelings. The way ants communicate has slowly evolved over millions of years, and over that time, ants have solved the barriers of communication in a range of ways. But to sum it all up in a few words, ants use scents or pheromones, touch, body language, and even sounds to get their message across to other ants. The body part of ants, called the antennae, are very important to the ants' key to communication. The antennae are like a nose to the ants. They use it to smell a variety of scents and pheromones that other ants have laid down with little scent droplets expelled from the ants' abdomen. Ants have developed a specific mixture of pheromones to communicate different things to fellow ants. All of these scents are not known to humans, but we know a lot about their system. We know, for example, that each individual ant colony has their own unique set of pheromones, letting them distinguish ants from their own colony and ants from an enemy colony. So, when you see a long trail of ants, you know that it was laid by one ant laying down pheromones on the ground like breadcrumbs that possibly could lead to the nest or a source of food. The ants can make this scent distinguishment in milliseconds. They barely need to think about what to do before knowing whether it is their own colony or foreign ant colony. Another way ants communicate is through touching and body language. When an ant meets a member of the colony, it can tell her things by moving her body in a certain way, or simply by a touching of their antennae. The other ant then should have an idea of what the ant is already trying to alert them of. For example, if food is at the end of a pheromone trail, the worker may give another worker a taste of the food she found through trophallaxis, which is regurgitation from mouth to mouth between the ants. This tells the other ant clearly that there is food at the end of that pheromone trail. Humans also use body language, just like ants do. Ants can communicate through body language by stroking the other ant in different ways. Combined with pheromones, this creates an advanced form of communication between the ants. One of the most unknown and interesting ways ants can communicate is through sound. A majority of ant species use sound to communicate, but our human ears can unfortunately not hear those sounds due to its low resonance. However, if you put an ant close to your ear, you may be able to hear a mixture of different sounds. The ants can produce different sounds by scraping their legs on a washboard-like rough part of their body thus accomplishing different sounds. Although we may not be able to hear it, other ants can. The sounds are used in different ways from species to species. An example of a time ants need to use this ability is when trapped in a tunnel or chamber underground. The ants can use this sound as a distress call, signaling their location to other workers through walls. This simply would not work with pheromones. Myrmecologists have mapped out ways that ants communicate and put them into 12 different categories. Number one, to alert or warn ants. Number two, to entice ants to do something. Number three, recruiting ants to food or a nest. Number four, grooming ants or brood. Number five, trophallaxis or feeding from mouth to mouth. Number six, exchanging solid foods within the nest. 
Number seven, peer pressure. Number eight, recognition. Number nine, influencing castes within the colony, like majors or minors. 10, controlling rivals. 11, marking territories. And 12, sexual communication through nuptial flights. That was a short video on the ways ants communicate, and I hope that I've given you a bit of knowledge and insight into the world of ants. Thank you for listening, and goodbye for now.